Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me in a really uh, poor posture in, in the bed here in Lisbon. Uh, but I'm going to try to do the count uh, or this week's uh, Lico Premium Weekly Problem, which is 250. Uh, count unit value subtrees. What does that mean? Given the root of binary tree, we turn the number of unit value subtrees. Is all the nodes of the subtree of the same value? What does that even mean still? All notes of the, oh okay I see. So f the leaves by definition does, and then you just kind of propagate that up I think right. So yeah, uh, just so kind of confused. I mean I I wish they kind of do a little bit of explanation somewhere, but I guess I get it. Uh, it's a very awkward problem. But yeah, uh, so maybe we just start with counting zero zero. Maybe I'll do a global thing. Um. Or maybe I get to, I don't need to do a global thing because it's just recursive, right? So maybe we have a count, we have a node, oops, node, right? So basically, if node is none, we return zero, I guess. Uh, if node is a leaf, then we return one, that's our base case, that's a leaf. Uh, otherwise, if node.left is not equal to okay so well that, let's just say children is our future but also it's going to be with count of node dot left plus count of node dot right that's our children count um and then now we go if node dot left is not equal to this is kind of awkward to write but it's fine we say if it is if it, not not it's, it's not none and node that value is equal to or if it's not none and this is not the case uh then that means that this this current node does not is not a unit value subtree so then we just return children um we can also do the same for i mean i'm writing this in an awkward way um because usually I, would, I think you would write this as one if statement but but I, I think this is slightly clear for on screen, so that's why. Otherwise, uh, we turn children plus one, right? Um, yeah, I think that should be good, maybe. <laughs> it's very possible that I make mistakes. In fact, it's very possible, because I've been making them all day. But <laughs> Oh, no! Did I misunderstood this? I, I, I need a better visualization on this. Uh, what does that even mean? Oh, I see. I messed up here on one of the assumptions. Basically, I thought that would it would get propagated up, but I did not propagate this up enough, right? Because basically, this subtree is um, or this thing is just like this example with one 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 on the top triangle and then five 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 on the bottom. And the one 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 is propagating up to plus one, which is not true, right? How did I fix that? Huh? What a silly mistake! Or well, I don't know if it's a silly mistake. It's just a bad mistake, honestly. Um, and I should have tested this, uh, because yeah. But okay. I mean, while this is definitely true, this is the one that is technically not right yet. Right. I guess as soon as this is not true for one of them, I think I was just trying to be too clever in returning it. I think if I had done it with the other way, it would have been easier to keep track of the states. But uh, okay, fine. We have to rewrite this a little bit. So now instead of count, we also return whether. Whether the the um the node itself is a a, a unit value, right? So none. Uh, we can return force. Maybe something like this. A tuple, right? Hey, I mean, it's not. It's fine. This is one, and this is true that the 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 subtree is the same, right? And then now we have to do some more. Do, 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 node that left, right? Right. As you go to count node that right, and then. Total is equal to left. 
and you'll probably use a name tuple for this, but I need to catch my flight, so uh, I feel like I say that a lot, but it's true. So, uh, so we do Toyo here. Um, if left dot, if this is not not true, or uh, not right of one, we can already we mm, well, I guess this should be true then in this case. Uh, then we return total because that means that the subtrees are already whatever, so we don't have to do it. Otherwise, we we do the same here, uh, and also we return force as the second parameter. This is why why have a one line statement would be nice. Otherwise, we are actually good. So do, 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 and true, right? Uh, and then we just return the first thing. Yep. Uh, I thought I could get away without it, but I don't know why I thought that way. Hmm. Yeah, well. Uh, sometimes mistakes happen uh, when you try to go too fast. That's why, you know, it's okay to go slow to go correct, right? Uh, <laughs> being fast and incorrect is useless. Uh, I mean, you know, approximately so. Uh, no one generalize everything. But uh, but yeah, what, what's the time, space, complexity? It's just linear time, linear space. Uh, maybe O of H space, if you will, for the height of the tree. But otherwise, yeah, linear in both cases. Um that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take your mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.